Hey guys, um, I um uh, just got back from my eight and Paul's about about two hours ago, and uh, I uh, have four more tapes to show, including the ones I just showed in the previous videos I did while I was over there, and uh, and uh, so anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Um, first one I have this tape already, but I'll tell you what's wrong with my other copy that I got in um 2018 that I showed on March 30th, 2019 about uh. It was moldy-ish, but it, it had problems, and it just it would slow down. But this copy plays much better. I checked it. Benny and June. The tapes fell. Sticker label. This copy is a little bit of a later printing. Um, April tenth, nineteen ninety four. My uh, my other copy is February eighteenth, ninety four. This, 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 copy, this copy plays much better than um my other copy. Next up is a Good Times tape. Um, Mick Clintock with John Wayne. I decided to take this tape home with me because it because it's a Good Times tape. We all know what has what has the end. I don't have that many Good Times tapes, but I have another one in my collection. I have another one to show you later on in this video. The case is from 1993, but ink label from says on the label. It says A-75 8H19. The printing's on there since we have that is how much stack is at the end of this tape. And this tape is recorded in LP mode. It's two hours and eight minutes long, so this tape is recorded in LP mode and most a lot of the LP mode tapes have a Quite a bit of static at the end of them on Good Times tapes. Next up is an M. Prepare, guys. Two of these tapes are one of the oldest tapes I have now. N not one of the oldest, but um, it's one of the oldest. Mutiny on the Bounty. The reason I got this tape is because um, it comes in a black clamshell. MGM Way Home video. It says right there. Gold sticker label and end label. Tan lead, nice. Please rewind tape. From Fall Rental from Circus Video. I'm Jimmy Way Hologram. This is T135, and I checked underneath the end label. The print date is August 9th, 1985. I'll try my best to keep the end labels intact. You know, it's hard not to because the stickiness, the residue from the thing that doesn't stick much anymore after you peel it off the first time. I thought this tape would have black screen at the end, but it doesn't. It does, however, have a two-minute long silent black screen after the film's over. I listened the whole entire rest of the tape, and it didn't. I didn't hear anything, so... Still keeping it. Though. Same outcome with this one. Abbott Castell in Hollywood. Again, this is a bit of a later print, later tape. Oh, that can come out too, but come on. It has a um, has an insert in here. MGM Way Home Video Video Cassette Collection. In alphabetical order. Catalog number. Pause. Want to read the pause? You want to read the. Read the um, title list. Yeah. Sorry, it's bent a little bit, but what are you going to do? It's the only way you can fit it in there, basically, pretty much. Sticker label. The end label already came off. January 10th, 1986. Again, same thing. Sorry, guys, my dad just came in to check on me, and Jack came in to see what I was doing. He's going to get in the shower now, so... uh. Here's a tape sticker label. Has a um, bunch of uh, stickers on the tape. It says full rental from another full rental from Circus Video. And also, full rental from Stars and Stripes Video. Violation of this label will provide evidence of internal tampering. Kindly rewind after use. It says dollar charge if tape is not rewound. Darren 1096 again for the print date. I thought this tape would have black screen death also. 
but both of these do not have it. Still keep still keeping them though for the collection, of course. Now this tape might be a bootleg. I'll show you why in another video if I feel like doing it. Santa Fe Trail, former rental for Beloit Public Library, but see it says discarded right there, and the things cross the barcodes crossed out because uh, it's a good times tape from like 1985, 1984. But first off, I've showed this tape at Ada and Paul's, um, but. So Santa Fe Trail, they wrote the title on there that I forgot to point out that January 25th, 2000 was the library purchase date. It doesn't even have the VHS logo on the tape whatsoever. It just says T105 on there. I don't know if somebody put that on there or not, but... How the tape opens is that it might be recorded onto another VCR, I think, because the first six seconds of the tape is like has a still picture and then things start moving and the movie starts